Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CG Hop video. A few days back I created this moon scene effect with this dancing girl. And today I will show you how I create this, all these elements. So let's start this video. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So this is my camera angle in sequence and this is out of camera and you can see I don't have much element. This is very easy scene, very clean scene. Okay, so I have this camera and then after this I have some rocks which I downloaded from let me hide this dust these rocks which I downloaded from mega scans these are from the quicksell so these are and you can see the name if you want the same rock you can download I have one more here and then I have moon effect here and this girl is dancing with these effect these dust and these these glowy balls with black edge so that's it i don't have much so here in this sequencer i have first camera and this is the resolution then here in advanced setting i'm using portrait mode okay so this is my camera setting this is my camera after camera uh, I'll sh uh, I have these rocks that I have shown you then I have this dancing girl and this I downloaded from Mixamo and I'll show you my animation Samba animation Samba dance animation you can see it is fast but I created a composite of this let me check this and then select this and reduce the speed to point one so this is a slow motion of samba dance and i'm using this animation composite here you can see the animation composite i'm using and uh, after this i have this effect this dark energy this dust and this moon three things so first we will see let's say we see the moon effect so if i open this moon so it has for emitter first is a moon and it has just a sphere mesh with moon texture and it is just panning so there is nothing here in uh, Niagara just spawning one particle and life is infinite and texture is just panning or you can just rotate it here if you want but in my case texture is panning then I have this type of ring and i duplicated it three times with some offset so if i show you all these three this is how it looks so you can see same rings just the size is different and slight offset so i'll show you just one and you can make three or four whatever you want so in this one i'm spawning thousand particles and i have just a radial black so this is just a black from the material and spawn thousand particles random life random size torus location and you can see the location preview okay and then i have some camera offset some curl noise these are my curl noise settings vortex of course negative so it's rotating this way some drag and fading in and fading out alpha then i duplicated this and same thing just reduce the torus radius and also using the offset minus 80 and same thing again duplicate it, reduce the torus radius 220 and the offset is minus 150 and here you can see these are intersecting with this moon but I am using this camera offsets so in here viewport is these are not intersecting much you can see okay okay so these are my this was my moon effect after that I, I let's see this red uh, dust so you can see this dust this is moving on 
negative y it has just one emitter spawning 100 particles and using the sub uv from the starter content smoke default sub uv and velocity of course on minus negative and slightly on z and this is box location you can see the size of box is 500 500 and on z it is zero so it's just a planar then fading in fading out alpha and color is red and this is to sub play the sub uv and camera offset okay and the last is dark energy so it has actually three uh, emitters and if i preview these emitters box you can see how they are aligned and here in viewport how they are aligned so i have camera here this is my camera this first i have this for the camera near small box then again a small box then this bigger box that is far away from the camera so this is how i'm aligning so same thing in all three emitter just offsetting and uh, different box size okay so i'll just turn off this I'll show you just one and you can do the same thing you can duplicate and offset like you did with Taurus so here you can see I have some offset and size here and in this box I have different offset and in this box different size and different offset and rest is same so here spawning uh, less particle like three and box location and life is six random size velocity on y and let me increase the size so you can see properly so i'll just increase this from here so you can now see properly how they look so it has a core that has random color slightly random pink and yellow then it has this black edge so here uh, let me show you the material first so you can see I have a core and this thing so what I am using uh, I am using this vector to radial and what I am doing I had this texture okay and I am using this vector to radial in the UVs of this so this is like this polar coordinates then I have this multiply for the tiling so if I connect this one here you can see the proper tiling then using the panel so if I connect this thing here you can see it's panning so you got uh, how I created this after this I have two radials and this noise I am using to distort first radial so if I disconnect this I have just a radial and this noise texture panning I am connecting to the UVs of first radial so I have this distorted radial then I have second ra radial which is smaller than the first and this is uh, smaller and just round so this one is going to emissive and this bigger one is going to opacity so that's why because I have white in emissive it is become the core and rest is the opacity that is black and I have a dynamic parameter to control the distortion and the radius and the speed everything okay and here you can see uh, uh, I have this random radius then box then velocity some curl noise and in dynamic parameter I have random distortion random speed if I make this speed 0 and 0 you can see no speed so I'm using 5 and 20 then this is core radius which I can increase it is 0.15 now I can make it 5 or 0 0.15 then this is distortion 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 let's make it 0 so no distortion or let's make it high or 0 0.1 0 0.5 like this okay and then sprite size is scaling up and down and color is random here you can see so i am using the same red color in minimum and maximum but i am randomizing the uh, g and b slightly different random color and let's make this one again 
and same thing in all three emitters and just offsetting these and all together it looks cool this scene looks good it has dabbed it has this smoke it has this blurry moon with these rings so it looks nice i think uh, i have cleared all thing and if you have any doubt just comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel cg how thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye